Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today you join me on a rainy day on Azalea and I'm going to be doing my first speed build for this island. Slightly exciting, very apprehensive about starting this island. I've redone what custom designs I'm going to use about three times so to finally start working on it is very daunting. Um, so I'm going to try and do this entrance area and also this big chunk of land that's outside residence services just to try and make a start because I've been putting it off for a while so I think the best way forward is to just get going and see how it looks. This island is a lot different from what I've done in the past. It's going to be much more symmetrical, much more of an elegant core look to it with city elements thrown in. But of course I'm Fleurs so there's going to have to be some flowers in there. So there's going to be quite a few gardens and hopefully it will look really really nice. I'm going for more of a pastel-y pink colour palette. Normally I stick to the white flowers or the blue if you saw laurel. And here are kind of the snapshots of which flowers I want to use, what kind of colours. So those are the custom designs I've gone with for now. Hopefully they will stay the same because I don't want to change them again. Um, so I'm just gonna try and figure out my path here. I don't know whether I need to do it on top of the custom design or just on top of the game path. I think the way that that looked, I think it might look better just on the ground and that will save me a lot of time. So this is the cobblestone. This is gonna be the main kind of path that I'm gonna use and then I'm gonna use the paving slabs and the stairs with it. They all came in kind of a set and I'll put the codes in the description for you so you can check them out for yourselves. I'm just gonna try and see how this will look. Maybe have kind of a fork not a fork, a cross in the roads um, and see if that will give me enough space. It might not. If it doesn't, then we'll have to come up with a workaround. But I think it looks okay so far and just trying to figure out which paving slabs belong where uh, is just a bit tricky. I am really, really regretting picking a map where the resident services is so close. Normally I love it. Normally I love doing a cozy little entrance and that's totally what I love doing. But for this island, I really wanted to have something nice and big, elegant kind of area. And it's just not gonna happen because of the little space that I have. Perhaps it would have worked better if resident services was directly behind the entrance and maybe I wouldn't be having such a headache, but it's not. So I'm just trying to make the most of it. It's not gonna be something amazing. It's probably gonna be something simple, but we'll see what happens. The main kind of furniture that I'm going to go for is going to be quite white just because there's not a lot of like purple furniture that will quite fit this theme. So I've got a lot of street lamps, a lot of the garden day stands just to try and fit with that elegant feel. And then these are the custom designs that I chose on the ground. These are really, really amazing flowers and I just love the colours on them. And then this is what they kind of look like with in-game flowers. For the moment, I've just got the pink, purple and white hyacinths. And again, the same colours for the mums. Not sure if I'm overly sold on the colour of the pink. I don't know whether they will stay. I mean, I still really like them, but um, they're just not looking right. The, especially the pink for the mums. They're quite like bright, maybe a little bit reddish, but we'll see how that goes. Just popping some more flowers in. There we go. And again on the other side, I'm really not convinced at this point that I'm going to have enough space to do what I want out the front of the palazzo, but we'll see how it goes. Because instead of having two squares that you normally need, I now have to have four, which means I really need to think about the space and how I'm using it a little bit more. And I really want to use this fountain. I don't tend to use it in any of my other islands, mainly because it's 
I don't feel that it really fits so I'm excited to try and use this and just to give that pop of colour underneath the fountain I have added these purple flowers underneath. I just thought that they would look better than the green and also add that purple colour in any way that I can so I think purple is probably my favourite colour um, so I'm excited being able to use it on this island. Let me know in the comments what your favourite colour is and have you done an island based around that colour? I would love to know. A lot of this video is probably going to be me placing down paths and I apologise for that. But I hope you like the end result. Hopefully it will turn out really nice and really effective. As I thought, I am going to have to scratch the idea of having the crossroads, maybe I can make it work a bit later, but as I said before, I'm going to need to have that four wide path now. So I'm going to expand out this area and make it a larger plaza. I've tried to expand it out a bit more. I don't know if that part sticking out where the incline is will have to stay or whether that will have to be adjusted as well, but we'll see it later. And I think we need some greenery. It's looking very gray. So let's pop some trees in. I have got the hedge fence. I think I'm gonna use that quite a lot, um, but we'll see. And then I think we need some details. I don't know the best way to break up the grave, but we'll try maybe some green hedges here. I did want a little bit of a seating area, but I don't know if that's gonna be possible right by the entrance. So might have to do that around by the fountain. And I think the Turkey Day garden stands will make a great kind of corner piece for around the fountain with the white floating biome planters on. Which I'm kind of all out of now, but I think the Festivale garland adds another pop of colour as well, so we'll keep that there. I'm just going to try see if it looks better with the full cobblestone there, I think it does. I think that's what's gonna have to go with. Right, so I'm back, I've got some benches, I've got some more turkey day stands and some floating biome planters. So let's see what we can come up with here. tweaks there with the floating biome planters maybe some green as well yes I like the way that looks unfortunately I can't do it on the sides but I don't think it needs it so we've just got it on the front and the back and then for this side of the plaza kind of area I'm gonna have a way leading out. I'll just give you an idea of what that will look like. Just so that better accessibility, you can get around. Oh, 
when I said we needed a lot a little bit more greenery I'm gonna go all in with the greenery now never really built a whole area up around the plaza so it'll be interesting as to how that looks um, it's coming along now I think maybe just to even it out it feels a bit kind of wonky at the moment so I'm gonna make this whole area plaza and then make another centerpiece as the welcome point not sure what I'm gonna put there yet maybe a statue um, obviously I don't want another fountain so close um, not for this area anyway so I'm going to expand out here again. Unfortunately, it means tearing down the little flowers and things that I planted. But I guess that's just kind of how Animal Crossing works. And when you're decorating, don't be afraid to change things, change your mind, find what works best for you and what you think looks best. Trust your instincts. I think that's what I'm trying to say. It is, I say it so often, but it really is kind of a work and see what happens and then if you don't like it adjust it later later on when i've done more of my island i might totally change it out but we'll see we'll see um pango you were definitely in the way <laughs> this is how much i don't want her on my island i haven't actually spoken to her um whoops uh she was an autofill unfortunately um from when i put down the plots and yeah i didn't quite plan it well enough to be able to go villager hunting before they moved in but the other villager was Bo so I'm gonna enjoy having him on my island for a, a little while unfortunately his house just his little log cabin just really won't fit with this island but he is a real cutie I really like the idea of the mountain bike not sure if it will stay there um, particularly because I can't I think the bushes would look good on the corners. I'm just gonna grab a couple more. This, sorry snails, um, I need the bushes. I don't tend to use a pink camellia bush, so it'd be interesting. I don't, I need to figure out what time of year they blossom because it would be amazing to set my dream address to a time of year where they are um, showing all their pink flowers. And because I've used the bushes back there, I thought that they were kind of quite heavy, all in the same line, so I swapped them out for the garden lanterns on the doilies, which I think works quite nicely. And we need something along here, so maybe some more hedges. I could have gone with like an iron fence, maybe I will use a spooky fence later on, but it's a garden city, so I feel like I need as much greenery, hedges, flowers, in here as possible. get there eventually I will figure out how to put custom designs down properly I don't know why I struggle so much but hey um so I'm just showing you where the exit would be for this area I'm not sure what I'm gonna put over that side I think at the top I'm tempted to put my shops and have a little shopping district maybe to the right I could incorporate that somehow and maybe have the market over there I do want to have like a nice kind of place for people to come and shop. I have got a few other ideas for the island. I really want to do a greenhouse. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do that yet, but I have I have some ideas. There have been a few that I've seen on Instagram and things, and I think, wow, that's really inspirational. So um, maybe that will be coming soon. I really, I don't know if I'm kind of regretting saying I'd do two islands yet but I definitely feel myself wanting to work on my autumn island a lot more at the moment 
but that's not to say I'm not excited about this one and I'm definitely going to persist with it. I've only just started it so I can't give up yet. Definitely not. So I'm just going to finish off this little area um, just so it kind of has something to it otherwise it would feel a bit half done. As I say very much work in progress so I may make some changes as inspiration comes to me but um, I hope that this build is definitely giving you an idea of what to expect and what this island will all be about. I'm just gonna pop down some flowers here just because I haven't really put many in this um, area in the end. So I'm just going to recreate what I did earlier. I think the ones with the leaves and the kind, they look a bit like forget-me-nots. They're definitely my favourite ones. Okay. Have I run out of hedges? I have run out of hedges. Right, let me quickly go grab some more hedges. And then I think we'll nearly be done. Okay, there we are. That is the area done. Hello, Cleo. Oh no, I forgot to talk to you too. Whoops. It's not been that long, to be fair, since we went villager hunting on the stream. May feel like it for when you um, are watching this, if you did watch the stream. Um, if you didn't, you can go back and see who I took home. So here we are, here is the entrance. I decided to put a little telephone box in, just as a little area to come and make some phone calls. And then here is the fountain area right outside of resident services. Pops of green, pops of purples and pinks, which I really wanted to incorporate. I think the start of the show definitely is the path though. I absolutely love it, it's so detailed. The color is lovely. And I love all the steps, the paving slabs. They just work really, really well. It's so weird having such a heavy area. I'm just gonna pop down some garden lanterns here because I feel like it's missing. I don't know whether it's because it's raining and it's so dark currently on my island that I need some light, but definitely these will look cute. There we go. That's much better. And then around here again, just giving a full overview just as to what's going on. And we've got the beautiful statue in the middle as like a focal point. But yeah, so that's pretty much it. Let me know what you think about the build. I know it's something totally different, um, but hopefully you, you like it and maybe it will give you some inspiration for what you're doing on your island. If you do, please remember to like the video and if you're not already subscribed, please press the subscribe button. I hope you all have a lovely day and I'll see you again soon with another video. Bye bye.